Man, that's planted. That is awesome. I like that. You don't know the power of the dark side. Good morning, YouTube. Here I am, dark siding for the first time. There's a 15 mile an hour curve coming up, and I will take it probably 15 miles an hour. Just be careful here. It doesn't seem like I'm experiencing really much difference in the turn. The straights are a lot different. Okay, I took that at 2025. Um, the straights seem to be different. It's just kind of planted. And the straights, it's just kind of, it's like there. I think the interstate is crazy comfy. Because it's just like, I'll sit here all day long and go as smooth as you want. That part is really cool. The turn... Now, maybe a little more effort, but um, not bad. I'm not going too aggressive because you have to you have to scrub in the tires. Uh, motorcycle tires, it takes 50 miles to scrub them in, and car tires, well, maybe 500 is what I've heard. So how does it work on a motorcycle? <laughs> no idea. No one has talked about scrubbing in dark side. All right, so here's some groove pavement. That's what uh, Chris Caliente was really not liking before he got dark side. I don't know if I can tell much different. These grooves aren't too bad. They've been worn down. But, yeah, you come up straight. Man, that's planted. That is awesome. I like that. Now, I will say, I got these tires on here last night. I took a whole lot longer to put the car tire on than I thought it would. I got the 195... Uh, was it 195, 55, 16? Uh, that's what everybody else is using. I think next time I would use a 190, 55, 16, just because it's so hard to squeeze it in there. Yeah, somebody posted that this tire, they're having trouble getting their tire to fit. And I had to lift this up off of that jack after the center stand so I could get a better angle to get this where it is. So now I just have to get the the uh the tire on to the the studs there um it's proven to be a little more difficult i'm trying to find out where it's sticking um maybe my bike is a little different it's a 2010 and uh there's uh some electronic zip tied on there to the frame uh, i'd cut the zip tie to see if that helped but it didn't move much so i don't really recommend cutting that zip tie because I don't think it helped any. I think it's better if it's if it's rigid, then you can squeeze under it. I did put a little bit of soap on it, thinking that might help a little bit. It's plastic on rubber, so maybe a little soapy plastic on rubber would be better. I don't know. Um, we did have uh, one problem. Now, America's Tire, they didn't really question putting a motorcycle tire, I mean a car tire on a motorcycle rim. They didn't, they didn't question it. The only thing they had is like, well, the rim, you know, it's got to fit, and the rim's got to be undamaged. The only problems they had, which yeah, is fine. Um, but they, they did have a problem when they broke the bead on my tire. Uh, the tire collapsed in in a way that uh, damaged the valve on my uh, TPMS. So right now I'm riding without TPMS, but there's no error, so that bothers me a lot. You know, maybe they haven't been working. Um, but the tire pressure always seems good. Anyway, I do have the broken TPMS on here. The TPMS itself works. It's just a valve stem that connects it and it's broken. So I got a new part I'm going to go pick up on my way to the chapter meeting. Um, so we can fix that. But yeah, you got to get used to how planted it feels. It, it wants to keep you upright. That's pretty nice. But yeah, they, they did it right. They, they gave me the $18 for the valve stem and... Um, and all I have to do is bring it back with the new valve stem, and they'll they'll fix me up. So that part's good. Um, we'll see when I get that fixed. Uh, I do have a little over 41 pounds of air in there right now, so I probably should adjust that. Um, probably should adjust it. They say car tires on a motorcycle runs look a bit cooler. So I mean, they're rated for 60,000. These are rated for thousand miles they'll probably last much longer just because they're weighed in less right there's less weight on the tire uh it's going to run really cool because of the less weight uh there's more surface
surface area for cooling. So I'm not too worried about it being a little over the 41 pounds. It might be 45 pounds. I didn't check it after I got it all mounted on there last night. And I just thought about it. But yeah, so you can still, but it, it did feel a little weird. Because it wants to bring you back upright. So you have the gyroscopic action going to keep you upright. And then you have that nice wide flat tire keeping you upright. But you can still... But it, it is a little different. I can't say it's bad, but it is different. Oh yeah, this seems like a great tire. This is the uh, Bridgestone Drive Guard. And it does seem like a great tire for this. It's a nice rounded tread uh, on the edges. So you can get quite a good lean angle and not worry about getting on the sidewall. People worry about. Um, it's a run flat, which if you watch my other video, I don't know if the run flat really helps. But I'm not going to test it to find out. And uh, it's, a, it's a higher rated. So the rating for weight load allows you to have 41 pounds of pressure in there. Which is what uh, Goldwing recommends. Goldwing recommends 41 pounds. I want to put 41 pounds into this for my TPMS, but I got no error on my TPMS, so I kind of wonder if it's even working. Because it should at least say the air pressure is low. No, I'm not. I'm not sure. But so far, this is a uh, successful. I'm dark siding, and I kind of like it. There, there's a TPMS error. That's what I was expecting. It's just a little bit harder to hit the curves with this tire. It might be a lot different if you're going from a brand new motorcycle tire. But uh, motorcycle tire, I took off it here. The center part was down to the wear bar. So it was kind of squared off anyway. Probably not like how this tire is. It's just this is a little wider with the Square. So you get some benefit in the straight because it just kind of it just kind of pops and says, "Yep, I'll stay right here." And where the other one had some flat, but not that much. Plus, uh, the rubber wasn't as thick where it's flat. And I think uh, Chris Caliente said that these tires have a little bit uh, deeper tread. So the motorcycle tires, the like E4s anyway, have uh, what is that? 10, 10 millimeter tread. And this one, he said a little more. I can't remember now. It was just like 11 millimeters. So it was a little more. And it's a different compound. So it will it will last. The bump up here, I wonder how this rear tire will do with. I usually avoid it because I know it's there. But I'm going to hit it today. I put in that uh, traction dynamic spring in the front forks when I rebuilt them. Um, I've done nothing with the back. It could stand to have some kind of upgrade. But uh, I'm curious just how this car tire affects the rear suspension. I'm going to hit that bump. I've hit it plenty of time. Not thinking about it. There it comes. Let's see. Oh, it's not as jarring. So yes, it is a better ride. So it seems like a lot of benefits and the only downside that I'm experiencing is uh, it's a little different to turn, but it seems like you get used to that and there's no difference. So a little adjustment for the lean, but uh, even so, I mean... Yeah, I, I don't know that that's much adjustment I have to do. I have about 80, 90 miles on this Bridgestone drive guard. I like it pretty well. Only uh, challenges them. It does differently on the gravel. 
than the car tire. I, I can't tell if it's good or bad, I just know that it's different. It's just different. But I mean, it handles the car as well. I don't want to push it too much yet because I don't know what the brake can is on these tires. But uh, they're doing all right. It does seem uh, just a little bit of gravel it doesn't seem to affect this rear tire at all. A couple of rocks that I run over can do a thing to the tire. So here I am on gravel. I left on this road this morning and just felt it was different. You know, it might be more stable. I'm not used to it. I'm, I'm not sure. I think I need more practice on gravel. But then it makes me wonder, is there some type of truck tire I can put on this thing? <laughs> Dalton Highway, here I come. <laughs> this is Redbeard. See you on the road.